Hi, I'm Duncan with the King County Wastewater Treatment Division, and I'm here to talk to you about some things you might not usually think about, like trash, toilets, and stormwater. You might be wondering why we're bringing these things up. Well, since the 1950s, King County has been operating a regional wastewater treatment facility, servicing one and a half million people in 17 cities and 17 sewer districts. We have 42 pump stations and over 350 miles of pipe. Laid out, that pipe would stretch from Seattle to Portland and back again. Those pipes and pumps carry raw sewage from homes, businesses, and industries. Every day, about 206 million gallons come to our two main treatment plants, our South Plant in Renton and our West Point treatment plant in Discovery Park. That is over 300 Olympic-sized swimming pools of water that we treat and release daily into Puget Sound. King County already does an award-winning job treating the region's wastewater, including a lot of stormwater in some areas, with your help, we can do even better to keep up the good work and help protect Puget Sound. There are a few things that everybody can do to help protect Puget Sound and prevent costly problems in home sewers, the local sewer system, and King County's regional sewer system. Things that you don't think about, usually. So here we are at Car Creek Park, where one of our pump stations is located. And this is Emily, also with the Wastewater Treatment Division. So what are you doing today and what's with all this stuff? I'm working on a communications project about what happens to trash when it goes into the sewer system. There's only four things that you're ever supposed to flush down the toilet, and we call those things the four P's. They're poo, pee, puke, and paper. All the rest goes into the trash can. Would you like to figure out where some of these things go? Sure. What about Q-tips and floss? Into the trash can. Correct. What about cleaning wipes, facial wipes, and paper towels? They're like toilet paper, but really different. Trash can. Correct. And what about feminine hygiene products? I'm not a girl. It goes into the trash can too. <laughs> All of these things that you see here, the band-aids, the apple stickers, the floss, Q-tips, Kleenex, all of that goes into the trash can. The only thing that doesn't is medications. Those go back to the pharmacy or into coffee grounds and then thrown away. Why is that? Medication can get into water too, and that's why we throw it away rather than flush it. The treatment plants aren't designed to filter all chemicals that could be in medications. Solid items cause different problems. At the treatment plant, we have to screen these items out and pay to take dumpsters of trash to the landfill. Little items like apple stickers or Q-tips can get through our screens, so it is very important to throw them away rather than flush them. Let me show you a little something. This is toilet paper. See how easily it broke down? This will easily go through pipes. This, however, is just a big, nasty mess. So I'm shaking this up, and you can totally see how it's not breaking down. Not like the toilet paper at all. This can clog your pipes, and this can clog our equipment and break your pipes. Our treatment plants are not meant to handle trash, just toilet paper and human waste. And as you just saw, Toilet paper breaks down easily and doesn't clog our pipes. This is a cleaning wipe that doesn't break down. These clog your pipes, leading to backups into your home or breaks in your pipes. This is what happens when all of those things mix together in a pipe. A big, dirty mess. It can block your pipes and clog up our equipment as well. When dental floss and wipes get tangled together, they form ropes. These ropes can cause additional problems. These are things you can prevent from getting into the treatment plant wipes, hair, fruit stickers, by using drain screens and your garbage can. So what about garbage disposals? Garbage disposals should be used sparingly. We have to remove the food particles that come from the garbage disposals at the treatment plant. It's ideal to compost your food scraps and use it as a natural yard amendment. However, at King County, we can also pick up food scraps with yard waste and compost it. So I've heard stormwater runoff is really a problem, but doesn't my stormwater go right to the treatment plant? There isn't a filter between storm drains and the sound. If the sound is a fish tank, then this is a slid. If you wouldn't put contaminants into a fish tank, then don't put them down storm drains where they can affect other sea life, such as orcas, seals, and fish. If your storm drain goes to a creek or the sound, you can help by washing your car to car wash, using natural yard care, and contacting your city to look at ways to slow down and filter storm water runoff right in your yard before it reaches the storm drain. So remember to put trash in the trash can, only human waste and toilet paper goes in the toilet. 
and only rainwater goes down the storm drains. The fewer things that get into the wastewater stream, the fewer things we have to take out, protecting our environment while saving ratepayers money. Our pump systems and equipment will last longer, and that can keep costs down. We are funded by ratepayers, which is your sewer bills. So make this something that you do think about. Check out our website, www.kingcounty.gov backslash WTD for more information on how you can benefit the sewer system and the sound.